Hello everyone, welcome to SV Bubble. So in this video tutorial we're going to go through some updates um, that we've just pushed to the system um, for October. Okay, so first off we're just going to show you how you can grab specific URLs. So if we just navigate into our bucket. Now if you want to grab an S3 URL you can just simply hover over and click. Okay, hover over, click, hover over and click. So you can see I've copied my three assets now and I've copied them to my notepad. So that's just how you grab um, direct URLs, well URLs for S3, sorry, for the SDK. Okay, so let's go in and let's say we want to encode a video. So again we go through the similar process that we always do. We'll go down to our video now. So now we have a quick preview option. So This just um, allows us to easily go and view our media so we can see what's what. Okay, and we also have a get metadata option. Okay, so this gets all the metadata about your file, which is super handy for video streaming. So it gives us our streams, widths, heights, codecs, audio, format, and we've got our frame rates here. So this is really helpful. Okay, to get metadata, and now we can go into our new encoder process. Okay, so this is now a step by step process. We can go to the next section. Now one thing to talk about here is you don't have to use this caption setup, you can simply use it at the next stage. Um, this is if you want to embed your captions and subtitles directly into a stream. Okay, now this is super useful if you're going to be doing Roku because it means that you don't have to have multiple formats, everything can be embedded into one stream. So you just need to take the URL that we copied earlier. Now these are in SRT format, okay, so you can do that using AWS Transcribe and we're going to add a audio description okay and we'll just do Spanish okay so we've got our audio description and we've added our dummy subtitles and dummy audio description and we could also add a, more, a watermark so it's as simple as just putting in these um, URLs you can search for it directly or you can use the URLs Okay, so this is going to be if we're using DRM proxy security. So you can grab your proxy URL through the WordPress plugin or if you're doing it manually. And then this is where we can then clip our video. So we could say we wanted to clip a section to here and you can use the arrows to skip through frames and then press I to insert a marker. Okay, and then we can press uh, get to a frame we want so just here and you can press O on the keyboard to get your end time code so this is how we can then clip our media easily okay now this is where if you wanted to add your V paid advertising URL so you could simply put the advertising URL, advertising URL in here sorry uh, we're not going to do that and then now you just need to select the bucket you're going to be outputting your files to so this is normally a delivery bucket and we're just going to use a random ID for the folder, okay? But you can obviously put in any folder name that you want. And then we've got a CloudFront distribution. So let's just select uh, one of our CloudFront distributions that we have set up. Always set up a CloudFront distribution to distribute your content. That's important. Save and continue. Now we've got our encoding templates. So it's MP4 um, dash, but we always recommend using HLS, okay? So use the recommended for HLS. And then once that's done, you can click submit. Okay, great. So that's success. That's gone off. Now if we go to our media convert jobs, this shows all our jobs that are now running and encoding our video. So if we just give that, it's a really small file, so I'm just going to pause the video. It'll probably take about um, two, three minutes to complete. Okay, great. So as you can see, our video is now completed uh, encoding. So we can go and now have a look and it'll be encoded into HLS, which is great. So it'll be multi bit rate, um, adaptive bit rate streaming. So it will adapt to internet connections, which is a super powerful. And it's the streaming protocol we suggest using. So once we're in here now, we can click play. You can see we've got our captions in English. We can also switch to our audio descriptions. Okay, so you can have your audio descriptions your captions okay then we can also come in here and we can add a video poster so let's just upload a video poster to our player okay so you can see we've got our post added now and then this is where we could come in if we wanted and we could add our metadata okay Okay, so we've got a full video functionality here. It's playing. We've got our poster set, our meta description, 
We've also got our captions, our audio descriptions, our adaptive bit rates, and that's all done. And you can also take the direct URL and you can paste it in Safari or something like that, just to show that we're not dependent on the player when you embed captions and audio descriptions directly through that encoding process. Oh, and our watermarks up here. Obviously, you can change the watermark to be a larger, um, larger size, etc. But yeah, that's just a really quick run through of some of the updates.